The truth is that Aaron Livesey is more than just a troubled young man. He's also a calculating, vindictive liar. He'd have to be in order to level such horrendous allegations against his own father. How can he stand there saying this stuff? He's just doing his job. A father who has made mistakes, certainly, but also a father who did his best for his son when his mother abandoned them. The simple fact of the matter here is that other than the questionable word of a troubled young man with a history of violence, there is no substantive evidence that any of these events took place. Therefore, it stands to reason the defendant must be found not guilty. You have heard from the prosecution and the defense. Now, you must go away and consider carefully the facts of the case as we understand them. You must ask yourselves one fundamental question. On the balance of the evidence put forward, do you believe beyond all reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty of the acts for which he is on trial? There is no doubt that you have a difficult decision ahead, as either way, you hold a man's very future in your hands. I still can't believe it. What made her change her mind? I don't know, you have to ask her. Well, whatever it was, I could kiss her. Final nail in his coffin, if you ask me. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, eh? You right? Yeah, I will be when I've had this and a load more after that. Well, I think it went well. And if they can't see his lying after that, then... Thank you. For what you said in court yesterday. And for being there today. Hey, no problem. Look, I know you thought I was getting involved with all that Andy and Chrissy thing, but... You have to believe me. And what happened to Andy had nothing to do with me. OK. No, I'm serious, Aaron. I'm not that man anymore. Anyway, that's all I came to say, so uh, I'll leave you to it. Do you fancy a beer? No, I'm good. You mean you're trying to be good? Well, I'm here for you, Aaron. Whatever happens. I've heard that before. I'm trying here, you know. I'm I really am. You. you know what, maybe I will have that whiskey. I want to be able to rely on you, Robert. And you can. We'll get through this together. And don't push me. I'm sorry, I just... You know, I guess I want you to be able to rely on me too. Well, then, let's just take it slow, see what happens. You know, I won't let you down. Whatever happens tomorrow, I'll 